Hello, my name is Chris Browder. This video uh, segment that you're about to watch is intended to provide you with a very basic introduction to second language acquisition, or SLA as we call it. Um, this, like most of my presentations, is very closely based on the uh, textbook um, by uh, Robert Ellis that we're using. Okay, so starting off with basics. What is SLA? Well, the term second language acquisition can refer to the process of acquiring proficiency in a second language, but it can also refer to the academic field or discipline that studies the process. In the first usage, second language acquisition can be contrasted with first language acquisition. In first language acquisition, children become proficient in the language through daily exposure to it when starting when, oh, uh, starting when they're born, and they speak no other language. Generally, children are very proficient in their first language by the age of seven. Some people might refer to first language acquisition as children learning their mother tongue or native tongue, as some people might choose to call it. Here in the United States, most people grow up learning English as a first language and can be referred to as native speakers of English because they acquired that language before the age of seven. Second language acquisition, in contrast, is when someone who has already acquired the first language is gaining a second one. An example of that might be a person who immigrates from another country after the age of seven and has to start acquiring a new language in order to acculturate. For the rest of this course, we may often use the acronym L1 to refer to first language and L2 to refer to second language. In SLA, the term acquisition basically means learning, but some academics such as Stephen Krashen prefer we use the term acquisition to describe this process instead of using the word learning because they believe the process of acquiring real proficiency in a second language is very different from the process by which we learn other things such as biology or carpentry. So let's talk about definition number two. That's the uh, academic field or discipline that studies the process. So you could say that I teach SLA or I'm a researcher on SLA. Um, so second language acquisition is the research and theory, and it's relatively new uh, in universities, but it has grown very quickly. Really, it only goes back to about 1960, actually. Um, it's become very important uh, as globalization increasingly puts people in situations in which they must use second languages. As the need for second languages increases, uh, we must all ask how we can improve the teaching of second languages, but we cannot improve the teaching of language without asking how to improve the learning of languages. So for this reason, teachers should always be thinking about how languages are learned. After all, effective teachers are essentially facilitating students' learning. A teacher must constantly be asking, what are my students learning? What are they not learning? Why are they not learning it? What should I be doing to help them learn better? So in this way, every theory of um, teaching is driven by a theory of learning. In other words, every theory of teaching is basically a, a theory of learning uh, applied. And I think we're going to be trying to do a lot of that in this course. We're going to be focusing a lot on applications. All right. Um, thank you very much. I hope this helps. Goodbye.